Alright, first thing when you get a new clock is you want it to delete all in case there's something in there that shouldn't be in there. You start everything out with an A for function. On the front of your clock it says number 61 is delete all. So you hit A, 61. It asks B for yes, C for no, B, delete all. The clock is now deleting. Next, you want the correct time and date. You'll look on the front of your, the face of your clock. Number 51 says set time and date. So you'll start out with your A, the 51. It asks for your hours. It is 10 a.m. right now. Press 10, 0, 0, 1 for a.m., 2 for p.m., 1. Now it asks for your month. It is 11, 16, 11. Hit B to enter. Primarily these are used for on and off such as uh, school zones so I want this particular timer to come on which I always since I've set the time for 10 a.m. I'll put a step in for 10.01 and the inner step is number 21 so I go A21 step 1 program 1 is where I want to be hit B for enter Nine is days of the week. Hit B to enter. Time, I'll set it for 10.02 a.m. 1. Relays, you want the number one relay to come on. Press 1, hit B for enter. You go to step 2, that is your time to go off. Just hit B again. Days of the week, B. I want it to go off in one minute, so 10.03 a.m. Relays, leave it blank, just hit B. So now you're set up for, uh, for it to come on at 10.02 and go off at 10.03. Okay, now your light is on and it will run for one minute and go off. The main thing is when you want for the on time you want relay number one and for the off time just leave it blank. Okay, that was our one minute test.